Styles of 23 here, and today's night therapy, we have 10 high-value EC folding knives, $70 to $90. I started at $30, and we're working our way up through the price points, and let's get started. First up, we have the O-Knife Zilla. This thing is a beast. You get a big old chunk of 154 cm steel, uh, good ergos, action is uh, very, very slicey, nice and snappy there comfortable deep carry pocket clip i kind of like this clip uh tip up left or right hand to carry good access to the lock bar riding on bearings and yeah i mean when you got such a high flat grind it's gonna be a nice slicer sharpens up really nicely as well the oem for these knives is kaiser and they do an excellent job with their 154 cm you have a peel ply g10 on this and I reviewed this one a while back. I think I reviewed every one of these knives on the list, but I definitely have carried and tested them thoroughly. You can get this right now for 85 bucks. All right, number two, we have the Sabibi Knives Conspirator. I love this knife. Nitro V Steel, super slicey blade, excellent blade shape. This is a full-size EDC knife. Uh, this one is the micarta one. It's a button lock nice thick scales comfortable in hand uh, You have that fuller that you can deploy the knife or you can use that flipper tab whatever you whatever you prefer Deep carry pocket clip that is tip up left or right hand carry. Yeah, the conspirator awesome I don't know if I said it nitro V steel $79 excellent excellent value uh, very very good uh, Nitro V, excellent steel, good, uh, sharpens up very, very nicely, gets super, super sharp, tough steel, that's number two, the Sabivi Conspirator. Number three, we have the biggest behemoth on the list, and that is the Cold Steel 4 Max Scout. If you haven't seen my review on this knife, I beat the snot out of this thing. It kept a licking and kept on ticking. Cold Steel does amazing heat treats on their knives. This is an AUS 10A, and uh, yeah, it blew me away. Uh, they're $79 right now, but... If you don't want to pay $79, just wait. They'll go down. Uh, I forgot how low they got. They were super, super cheap a while back. That's why I ended up buying two of them because I like the knife so much. Um, I have two of this, the Aus 10 versions, and then I have one of the S35 in a G10. It's just an awesome, uh, super overbuilt, hard-use knife that can take just about anything. It's got the uh, tried-and-true uh, triad lock. The, one of the strongest locking mechanisms on the market. Only thing I don't like is that the pocket clip is kind of stiff and it's on top of the stippling. So if you plan on carrying it in the pocket, it may shred up your jeans. But that is a Cold Steel 4 Max Scout. All right, next up we have the Kaiser Sheepdog. This is a Sheepdog Knives Design 154 CM steel. Uh, black linen micarta contoured scales super comfortable in hand high flat grind that comes down to a thin edge and their 154 cm is so yummy you can choke up if you'd like you can choke back if you like now it is tip up deep carry tip up right hand carry only uh nothing i can do about that but there are other knives on this list for the lefties uh, this one right here is going to run you $79, and I think it's an excellent, excellent bargain. All right, next up, number five, we have the Savivi Altus. If the Conspirator was too, is too big for you, the Altus will be perfect for you. It's basically a little bit shrunk down version with a thumb stud instead of a flipper tab. Um, this right here is an excellent, excellent EDC size for a majority of the people in the world. You got a perfect drop point, almost, I would call it almost a spear point blade. Uh, this one is also a Nitro V and it's got, it's got their bead blast finish. Not my favorite, but I have had no problems with, uh, corrosion or anything. Excellent action, button lock G10. You can get it in different variations. I added this titanium clip from uh, I think the sandbar the mini sandbar I think but it comes with just the the regular deep carry bent clip like this one 
The uh, Altus is going to run you $72, and it is tip up left or right handed. And if you have the original clip, it's a deep carry clip. So just depends on what you want. You can buy these. You can buy titanium clips from uh, Amazon, I think, for like 20 bucks, and you could do the same exact thing. All right, next up, number six, we have the Ferrum Forge Stinger in G10. Uh, they also have it in titanium. I just think the G10 variation is a much better value. Uh, the titanium ones, I think, way overpriced. But you get Nitro V steel on this one as well. Decently thin blade stock. Comes down to a thin edge. This thing slices outstanding. Another awesome drop point there. Very thin overall profile. Deep carry pocket clip. Uh, stainless steel liner lock. Just an excellent... This is... This and the Altus are just phenomenal EDC size and weight and uh, carry as well. Um, Nitro V is is a, a excellent steel. I like my my three favorites are Nitro V, um, uh, 154 CM and 14 C 28 N. Those three steels are awesome as well as ABL. But that's pretty much Nitro V. Very very similar steels, but. You had the Ferrum Forge branded uh, pivot and some peel ply G10. Awesome, awesome knife. This this knife was super hard to get for the longest time because they, they always sold out. And I think finally everybody's got one. So <laughs> you can get one now. Also, something that I love about Ferrum Forge, they always make the best flipper tabs. They're always canted back, so they, they're not poking you. They're just comfortable to flip. And the uh, Stinger flips very nice. It's on bearings, just like I think every knife in this list. All right, next up, we have uh, number seven, the Civivi Pentail. I reviewed this uh, when it first came out a couple of years ago, maybe a few years ago. I don't know how long it's been now. Uh, I know I was living at my old house. This is an excellent, excellent value right here. You're getting S35VN Micarta. A deep hollow grind that comes down to a thin edge. Uh, comfortable ergos. Now, if you have a large or extra large hand, this knife is probably going to be too small for you. But if you have a medium size, medium to small, or medium size hand, this, it, it might be perfect for you. Uh, definitely if you have a small hand, it'll be perfect for you. Multiple deployment methods with that thumb stud and that flipper tab. They work great. The detents dialed perfect for both of them. I've tested this one a whole bunch. Super sticky edge on it right now. Deep carry pocket clip that is tip up left or right hand carry. And I grabbed this one uh, over the the Elementum a lot. I know a lot of people rather the Elementum. This one just makes more sense for me. You can get this one in S35VN for, how much was this one? Uh, 83 bucks, $83. Yeah, that's a deal. My card of two. Awesome. All right. Another excellent value knife. Number eight, the Drop Ferrum Forge Gent. Now, they don't come like this. I've modded this one because I've had this one for a really, really long time. S35VN, and it comes with Shadow Box G10. It doesn't come with these holes, and it doesn't come with that finish underneath there. The liners are titanium. It doesn't come with a thumb stud either. I added that. It's just a flipper knife. It's a pretty basic knife, but uh, it comes in at 89 bucks right now on the uh, Caviso site. And I think it's just an excellent, excellent value. Uh, on bearings, super smooth, snappy action. Uh, nice, discreet pocket clip if you want to carry it in like a uh, t-shirt pocket or something. Uh Another one that's not a super huge knife. Let's see, next to the uh, Pentail. Yeah, it's about the same size as the Pentail. It's a little bit longer. But for uh, 89 bucks, yeah. Uh, I don't think you're going to find much better than that at that price point. Uh, and if you want to add a thumb stud, you can add one yourself too. Just get a carbide drill bit and drill a hole through it. <laughs> All right, that is the Drop Ferrum Forge Gent. All right, next up, number nine, we have one coming from Tucson, and that is the Tucson TS-129. 
This is my second 129. My first one is an M390 with the carbon fiber and the titanium scales. But I, uh, I, that one had an issue with it that I think I caused. So I decided to pick up this one. Uh, this one is in D2, and I love that they actually started using some good micarta. This is some good linen micarta, natural linen contour. Look at that contour, and that's so mm, 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 yummy. Love, love that blade shape. It almost has like a hawk bill at the end. I don't know if you can see that, how it almost comes down right here. I don't know if it's an illusion or what. But it comes down to a nice and thin edge. You got a beautiful milling pattern on the titanium and on that uh, blind screwed pocket clip right there. Very, very nice. The action on these is mm, 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 yummy. You can reverse flick it. Super comfortable in hand. Good access to that lock bar. It's also a front flipper that I'm terrible at doing. Let's see. Yep. There you go. These bad boys, you can actually get these on Amazon. It's going to probably take close to a month because it is coming from overseas. Uh, this is a night morning design and they come in at $90 on Amazon. You could probably get it cheaper if you do an eBay auction, but I'm not patient. So I went ahead and just picked it up on Amazon and waited my month. Um, it has a hardened stainless steel lock insert and yeah, awesome, awesome knives. Alrighty, last but certainly not least, number 10, we have the Kaiser Mini Roach. This thing came out this year, and I've already reviewed it. It's got 154 cm blade steel. Uh, 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 so beautiful. Stone wash, look at that stone wash finish. Love that stone wash finish. It's got a deep hollow grind. I wish Kaiser would start using these deep hollow grinds more often. I know, you know, it's easier with this broader blade, but... Man, that blade shape is excellent. You have just the right amount of belly to where when you're cutting cardboard, it's not going to slide out of the cut when you start to turn that wrist. Um, this one has a flipper tab, but it's removable. And I decided to remove the flipper tab because uh, I'm not a real big flipper fan. Um, if, I, if it has a blade hole, I usually use it. Excellent reverse flicker. Um, for my medium-sized hands, it's, it's perfect right here. Love when a handle comes down like that. And this choke up position is oh so good. <laughs> G10 scales with this uh, hexagonal pattern on there. Yeah, just a overall nice knife. Now this one is also tip up right hand carry only. So sorry about that lefties. I don't design them. Hopefully here soon I will have one of my designs made. Uh, I'm working on it peeps. I'm working on it. Y'all let me know if that's something y'all would want to see coming coming from Stasa23 channel. So there you go. That is the 10 I have for you today. Uh, from $70 on up to $90. If y'all want me to keep it going, I can keep it going. Um, I don't know. I, I I won't go too much. I, I, I'll probably maybe stop at, say, $150 because... A lot of times after that price point, it's not really a value anymore because you're you're just I don't know if you know what I, if you know what I'm saying. So let me know which one of these is your favorite, and uh, yeah, let me know what knife in this price range is you know one that you like to uh, carry that's a high value knife or at least that you think's a high value knife. I'd love to hear it. And hey, I might pick it up if I don't already own it. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.